Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about quality score, because quality score, improving quality score is one of the highest leverage activities you can do. I mean, if you wanted to do 20% of effort for 80% of the results, quality scores would be what you should be focused on, right? You got, your account's got 99 problems, 98 of them are quality score, I can assure you, right? So before we jump into what quality score is, what it impacts, how to improve it, all sorts of things that we're going to be going over in this video, uh, I just want to give you a little bit of background. And you should really stick around for this because I think you might learn a thing or two. I mean, most people know about quality score, but we're really going to delve into this in depth and you're going to see how it can give you a, an unfair advantage if you get it right. I just want to give you a little bit of background because this is a really simple concept that really helped me understand how to play Google's game, how to get Google to give me, you know, mates rates, friends rates uh, on AdWords. So it's just this little triangle of users, advertisers, and Google as a company. Right? These, are, these are the key stakeholders in, inside of Google's ecosystem. Right? These, are, these are the main players. Right? There's the searcher, the person who is on Google.com looking for whatever he's looking for. Then there's the advertisers right, who are running ads. This is probably you. And then there's Google, right, who needs to make money off of the advertisers who are running ads for the users. Right? And so it's a really fine balance because you can't skew it too much in somebody's favor. Right? Google can't take too much advantage and charge the advertisers too much because then the advertisers aren't happy. They, we, they can't run too many ads and be too nice to the advertisers and be too lenient with you know, quality and landing page and things like that because then the users will start going to Bing, God forbid. Right? So the, Google did something really smart. They, they invented quality score. Right? Before, the traditional model was whoever has the most amount of money wins. They, they go higher on the page, they get rewarded, they get more prominence, they get you know, more ads shown. Um, but Google, understanding this, this paradigm right here, keeping everybody happy, they actually integrated quality score into the, the economics. They completely integrated it, right? So I, you'll see in just a second with a, with a short formula that you may have seen, Google directly impacts how much you pay per click. It's super, super important. Uh, in fact, it does more than just the CPC, right? It, it impacts where you show on the page, right? Which could be the difference between a 10 to 15% CTR at the top to you know 0.5% CTR on page two, um, and it impacts eligibility whether you show at all and how often you show. Um, you know if you have 50% impression share, that means you show one out of two times. That's impacted by quality score. So it's completely make or break. Uh, so let's dig into this a little bit more. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some real geeky stuff. Don't get too intimidated. I'll walk you through it step by step. Basically, in AdWords, there's this thing called ad rank, right? And what ad rank is you can think of it as the strength of an advertiser. And it's measured by quality score times your max CPC, i.e. how good your ad is times how much you're willing to pay per click, right? And so what this means is if you have a high quality score, you can afford to have a lower CPC to get the same ad rank, right? We're gonna see this in just a second. And then this is where it gets really interesting. The effective CPC, so what this means is not how much you're willing to pay, but how much you're actually going to pay, is equal to the ad rank of the advertiser below you that you have to beat, divided by your quality score plus one cent. So what this means is that if your quality score is really, really high, you're, gonna, you're going to um, divide far more, meaning your eCPC is going to be way lower. So here's an example right here where I have Mar Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, and Donkey Kong who are all want to bid on uh, Super Mario Brothers, right? That's the keyword that they want to bid for. And they all have different bids, right? They're all willing to pay different amounts, right? So Mario is willing to pay a dollar. Luigi's willing to pay 80 cents. Yoshi is crazy and, and rich, so he wants to pay two dollars. And Donkey Kong just doesn't know what he's doing, so he's going to pay three dollars, right? So they all are willing to pay different amounts, and they're all more or less good at AdWords. So Mario's pretty good, he's, you know, five out of 10. Luigi's really good, so he's got nine. Yoshi and Donkey Kong, not so much, two and one, right? So how does this play out? Where, does, where is AdWords gonna place their ads, right? So as we know, ad rank is equal to quality score times max CPC. So Mario scores five, Luigi scores 7.2, Yoshi scores four, and Donkey Kong scores three. And so this is how AdWords is gonna place their, uh, their ads on the Google search results page. Luigi's actually gonna score first. Isn't that crazy? He's paying less than Mario. Mario's gonna score second, Yoshi's gonna score third, and Donkey Kong is gonna score fourth, right? 
And then their ECPC, how much they're actually going to pay, is the ad rank to beat divided by the quality score. So for Mario, number two, he's got to beat Yoshi, number three. Right? Yoshi's ad rank is four divided by the quality score of five, 80 cents. Right? Luigi has to beat Mario. He's got to pay 56 cents uh, per click. Right? Yoshi, uh, uh, $1.50, and Donkey Kong, whatever the minimum bid is, right? Or Donkey Kong would beat Peach or whoever is underneath him, right? And so this is how crazy this is, right? Like, Luigi, first, is actually paying less for position one than Yoshi is paying for position three. Yoshi's paying an exorbitant amount for position three. So what this means is that quality score isn't on a linear scale, right? It's not a straight line, it's, it's exponential. Four is way better than three. Five is way better than four, right? So if you increase your quality score, you get to divide the advertiser's ad rank below you that you have to beat. You get to lower your ECPC and maximize your ad rank. So you get to choose. Either you build a whole business around being able to pay more, or you just learn AdWords and you learn quality score and you win with lower C ECPCs, effective cost per click, and higher ad rank. So now for the good stuff. Let's talk about how we're actually going to impact quality score, right? This is the really important piece. For that, we need to understand what quality score is made up of, right? What determines whether you're getting ones and twos like Donkey Kong or nines and tens like Luigi is, right? So, you know, eight through 10 is really excellent. These are really great quality scores. Seven is good, feel good about a seven, although ideally you want to be in this realm. Five and six mm, is okay, you know? Mario kind of okay. And then three and four is definitely a warning sign. One and two, you're about to stop running on the Google network, right? And so the, the factors that impact quality score is mostly CTR, click-through rate. The click-through rate of your ad for a particular keyword is most of what impacts quality score, right? We don't know the, we don't know the exact proportions. Google doesn't really let out their secret sauce, but based on a lot of studies, it's roughly 60, 65%, right? More than half of it is click-through rate. Then there's relevance, right? How relevant your ad is to the landing page, to the keyword, to the query, how much all of this lines up. And really, based on other studies, um, relevance kind of comes down to click-through rate, as it turns out. It's not just some like semantic, like, is there a keyword in each of these? It's mostly like, if an ad is showing and getting clicked on a lot, that means that it's probably pretty relevant to the query, right? It's probably something that, app, like, that Google searchers are looking for. So CTR is, is the most of the pie is CTR, right? Then you have things like landing page quality, right? Whether you're following Google's landing page guidelines, things like privacy policy, is it, you know, crawlable text, does it have navigation, things like that. But this is mostly pass or fail, right? It's not really like, it can only really hurt you if you're doing it bad. This is not how you're gonna improve your quality score. And then you have small other things that typically you have less impact over, like the age of the account. You know, there's something called the quality score of the whole account, things like that. You know, there's also some theories around bounce rate. You know, if somebody clicks to a landing page and then quickly comes back and that bounce rate is high, then Google knows, hmm, is that really the right landing page? Things like that. But again, most of it is uh, click-through rate, right? So to impact quality score, like we've seen, we've seen how powerful quality score is, like we've seen how make or break that is, right? To impact eligibility, ad position, and how much you pay per click really really you're looking at click-through rate.